Good morning everybody and um, welcome to wet and miserable Stuttgart in Germany. As you can see the rain is pouring down. Um, we arrived last night and didn't think we'd get up too much because we're all busted but Nicola got a bit of sleep on the train and me and Megan got speaking to a woman who recommended a wee beer garden we went to so we went down there for a bit last night after we arrived it was very good. Um, we got something to eat and something to drink and we asked the barman what to eat and what to drink and he gave us his recommendations and they were beautiful so I had ham and chips and Nicola had like a dumplings and um, potato salad so it was lovely so I um, apologise these videos have been a bit boring and dry because we've been travelling an awful lot and we had planned to do stuff on the trains to make them a bit more exciting but the trains have been packed so we haven't been able to do anything so um, apologies about that but Today we are on a short train trip from Stuttgart to Germany, uh, or Stuttgart to Munich, sorry, sorry, I'm still sleeping. Uh, Stuttgart to Munich, and um, once we get there with loads of stuff planned for the next two days, we're going to be staying there for two nights, so we've got plenty booked in to see and do, so hopefully they're a bit more entertaining um, now, so I apologise again for them being a bit dry, but it is what it is. Um, so I'm just waiting on Megan and Nicola coming out here, and then we're going to hop on the train to Munich, and we'll catch you when we get there. Still a wee bit too early for this one, is it, Megan? Not playing today. But yeah, we're just sitting on the train. I'm doing some uh, vlogging and Megan's watching TikTok dances. Hi everybody, so we've just got off the train from Stuttgart. Yeah. What did you think of that train journey? Good. Yeah, it was easy, wasn't it? It wasn't as bad as some of the ones we've been on. No. no. So we left our luggage in the left luggage place. Yeah. That cost us six euros for 24 hours because we didn't have time to go down to our hotel to yeah. drop the bags off, so it was just easier doing that. And um, we're now waiting on the train to um, the Olympic area. And where are we going this afternoon? The BMW Museum. Are you looking forward to that? Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do in it? Take photos and sit in the cars. Yeah, she's excited. Megan loves her cars, so she's excited to get down there. Look, I forgot to bring the cars. Oh, did you? Oh, well. Oh, well, we'll get photos anyway. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we're looking forward to that. It's going to be a good afternoon. And then yeah. we'll see where that takes us after that. So yeah. we'll catch up with you when we're there. Bye. We got the match and we paid 17 euros for a day ticket on the Sundays. Before we um, decided to go into the BMW Museum, we came up to the Olympic Park. You can see the, I think it's a tower, a TV tower above me there. Um, this place is cool. It used to be where the football was played and the Olympics were obviously here as well. So, well worth a walk around while you're here. We just walked up and around the Olympic Stadium there, it's pretty cool. Um, we also found out that there's a extreme sports thing on this weekend, so tonight and tomorrow there's like BMX and skateboarding, uh, wakeboarding and uh, street dance competitions as well. So we're going to go into the BMW Museum in the Weld and have a look around it and then uh, hopefully by that time it'll be heading towards this evening so then we can go back up there and watch some events taking place, so Megan's excited about that. I'm very excited. We're going into the BMW Museum and Welp now. This is 
So we're outside getting some lunch. It's absolutely lashing down, so we're standing under a shelter and Megan's got her umbrella up. Yeah. Um, how did you enjoy the welt, Megan? I liked it really well. Yeah. I liked that, yeah. How many photos did you get? 974,900 billion. That's no lie. Like, literally everything was getting a photograph taken off it, but you enjoyed it? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have to stand here for a wee bit longer because it's lashing and then we're going to go into the museum. See us later. Should also mention before I forget the welt is free and so uh, it's well worth come out here to see it. How did you read the BMW Welt? I read it at a 10 out of 10. BMW Museum, um, we messed up and went into the temporary exhibition exhibits thinking that um, that was it and we were walking about going this is rubbish and the Winchester motorbike said it was Megan and then we went to leave and we walked down this corridor and there's tons of cars here so Museum. I rated it a 5 out of 10. Oh yeah, Megan's done her ratings for the BMW Museum and the BMW Welt. I do agree with her that the BMW Museum is like, I don't know, that you just have to be very, very interested in BMW to enjoy it. Um, we enjoyed the Welt a lot more. Like I did get stuff from the BMW Museum, but I just don't know if it's worth the money. Like, but It wasn't there, 24 euros for the three of us, so it's not that expensive, but Definitely the Welt, which was free, wanted for both me and Megan. Yeah, we're done with BMW, so we're back up at the Olympic Stadium and seeing what's all on up here. Loads of activities on, like ski and frisbee throwing and American football. There's a Ninja Warrior course and stuff. Obviously something nothing that Megan can do because her broken arm, but look, it's nice. I get to see all this stuff. We normally miss all this, like, but it's great that we've timed it right to come up here and have a look around. That's something different I haven't seen before. I four split table tennis table. Like I can just imagine the arguments in my house when I'm trying to play that and being called here. I better go. Oh.
Maybe you'll see me in a circus in future. Look how cool the skateboard is are. In my younger days, when I didn't have any money, I came to Munich, I climbed up to the top of the hill to have a look into the stadium, which is just over there. So, yeah, I had no money to pay in the stadium, so we climbed up the hill to look in it. So, I was saying earlier, hi, me and my mate walked to the top of the hill to um, look into the stadium, and today we found out that you can pay three euro to <laughs> come into the stadium for a look about. Um, it's not a stadium tour, that was 10 euro, but for 3 euro you can come in, sit down in the stands and have a look about. There's also a tour you can go on, you can go on the roof. Would you do the roof tour? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was 40 euro, I believe, and I think that included a zip down, so we're going to watch people think there's a zip down now. Well, we can't see the roof, so I don't know if it's on or not. You can just jump it. You can just jump it down. It wouldn't survive, would it? No. No, so yeah, well. In video, but I love those old scoreboards like you see in the background now, where it was LEDs lit up with a score on it, like they were something special. Like, I just love all the grounds, but this, yeah, I can just imagine this ball being full, and I can actually see the hill. Me and my mate climbed to have a look. I'll just put that on the screen now. Check that there's a thunderstorm, so I don't think we'll be leaving here anytime soon. The rain is absolutely lashing down. They have just taken people off the roof as we're not poor any quickly, so we must be expecting it to be bad. We've had a brilliant day up here in the Olympic Stadium area doing the BMW Museum and the, the Welt earlier and then um, uh, coming around to see this so, it's, so we've watched wakeboarding, we've watched skateboarders like real good atmosphere, just pity it's been pouring down the rain um, so we're heading back to Munich now and um, we've got to check into our hotel and we'll catch up with you again tomorrow see you there, bye